Nothing personal, kid. But I must go all out. Just this once. Bob's or Vagana, whichever will it be. Set the fuck down, TZ Reese. I'm here to spill. All right. All right. All right. I can't play too much of that song. Otherwise, this this YouTube video will be uh, struck down by in the eyes of uh, what do we call YouTube YouTube and all that stuff. But um, so right now I'm live. Um, you can find me on Twitch TV. I go. I'm, I'm live every single day with either Red Dead Redemption or PUBG. Uh, Kind of breaking into the Fortnite scene, kind of playing a little bit of COD, but overall, uh, the message that you should be taking away from this start is that I am on Twitch at these or at Zablewski, uh, which is the same name that I use here, so it should be at the bottom of the uh, video where my name is shown, and um, I'm gonna show you a couple quick ways to fix or to. Uh, to make some money fast and I know there's been a couple videos on this before um, but this is the first video since they fixed the economy so we're gonna start off by going to Lake Anawinanaja Ano Ano all right and uh, we're gonna go up to the closest part next to the Don't worry about that. Don't you, you guys didn't see that. You guys didn't see that. But um, so we're gonna go up to the top of this lake where the creek meets the actual pond slash lake thing, and we're gonna do a little bit of fishing. We're gonna catch some salmon, and that is one of the ways that you can make so much money because you can fill up with ten salmon. Um, in the process of them fixing the economy, they have also fixed the glitch of uh, the waterfall up in what's it called it's north of Valentine uh, so there's the waterfall right here the Winyard Winyard straight right above granite pass there was a waterfall and fish would fall out of the waterfall um, there's no reason for them to take it away uh, except I mean cuz cuz that's what happens in regular nature and such but, um, so we're here up at Owen, Owenjila, uh, pond, lake, and we're going to just throw out a couple casts. You can already see that there's a whole bunch of fish, uh, and that's not marks from, uh, what's it called? Um, from rain, because they're a lot bigger than the actual rain. Uh, let's bait this up with some worms. Where are my worms? I don't have any worms. I just bought worms. Ah, there we go. Alright, here we go. So we are going to cast it out real quick. And in the process, slowly reel it in, as always. Uh, hopefully... Hopefully we get a salmon. I'm not sure if this is a salmon or not, but it looks like it's giving me a pretty damn good fight. So let's see if we can if we can bring it in. Uh, in chat, Matt the Gym Rat Gaming, who is also on Twitch, just said subscribe to PewDiePie. So I think I'll, I'll do my part and uh, try to let everyone know about the battle between T-Series and PewDiePie. But here we go. This is our first salmon, I believe. It looks like a salmon. It tastes like a salmon. It smells like a salmon. Look at how big and juicy this fish is. It's like 9 pounds. Look, nine, nine, 19 pounds. Uh, wait. Time out. Let me... Wait. Wait. Don't, don't, don't look below. Don't, don't look... Don't look right there. Don't. It's 19 pounds, I'm telling you. Um, so, like, literally, this is every single cast when you come to this specific spot. It's it's super easy. 
Um, let's actually... Let's see if cheese bait does it. Ooh, corn bait. Bold catfish. You know, let's just do worms again. Let's just do worms again. We'll keep it safe because we know what we're catching. Um, worms are literally 50 cents a can. So it's it's definitely worth it to uh, to just buy like four cans for two bucks. Especially since... Oh, did it just fall off? What? Oh, no, it's good. Um, especially since they just fixed the economy, you make so much more money from doing, uh, just simple, simple tasks and you get more experience too. That's another part that, um, that you may not notice and, and some people may not tell you, but, um, okay. So we just got a duck. I'm not quite sure how much. The ducks go for. Let's see if it's still a three. It's not a three, so I guess I'll just skin it for the uh, to get my arrows back and to get a couple feathers. Uh, you know what? No, we're gonna bring it in anyways because I want to see how much the economy has changed even since last night. Because like a one star anything was like twenty cents before, so we're gonna see if this is a little bit better. And we are then going to go over here to strawberry we're gonna zoom in a little bit we're gonna look around see if we can find any markers of, of flocks of animals uh, not really seeing anything so I guess what we're gonna do is just loop our way around following the waypoints through these woods um, there should be elk there should be boar and those two are the best that you can find. Um, I highly suggest uh, buying a bow because it helps. Um, you can do all right with it uh, with a rifle and using dead eye. Oh, that's only a, a, a one star. Let's see if this is. See if this one's a little bit better. We're gonna track the. Nope, we're. We're not going to get off the horse. We're going to track the trail. Where did that thing go? Where did he go? Where did he go? There he is. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. Okay. Okay. It's a two star. Okay. I missed that shot. It's kind of a whiff, but it's okay. It's okay. We're still going to chase it down. It should be bleeding out now. Come on. That was a clear headshot. Again, this will not take as much effort if you are using a rifle. Um, that taking four shots on the elk just made it drop from a two star to a one star. That'll usually happen. You'll drop a rank if you don't get good shots. Uh, I couldn't zero in on the on the uh on the elk's head but it, it's completely fine because it's still a one star and it's 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 a big elk it's a rocky Ma rocky mountain elk um you definitely want to go for those those are big money even if they are one star three star are the best though before the economy fix i headshot a uh a three star elk and brought it in and made eight bucks just off of the carcass. So, so that was a really good, really good start. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're going the right way. So we're gonna continue out through this way. Oh, that sounded like another elk. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Oh, that's a ram. Three star. Missed a shot, it's okay. He, he snuck away from that one. Hit him in the spine, not the best shot. Again, it's only a two star to start with. Let's see if we can lasso it. Nope, not that button. 
Where the fuck did this thing go? Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. And he's gonna turn on you. But you know what you gotta do? Just fucking hunt it down. Get it. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come here. He's gonna tire out before I will. I'm telling you that now. Damn it. Come on. What? You gotta be catting me right meow. Where'd that thing go? Let's find that track. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's going back to like exactly where the uh, elk was. There we go. That was a pretty clean headshot, I gotta say. Not too shabby. Oops, why did I do that? Let's skin it. See, again, it dropped down to one star. Uh, that's just an unfortunate fact that you, you gotta put up with. Um, and, you know, that's that's part of the game, you know? It's, it's hard to hit really clean shots, especially when they're moving and such, but, uh, Let's see if we can get this hide under the elk, elk's body, and uh, maybe we can actually bring in the carcass too of this ram. Let's see, where's my horse? That elk is still up there though. All right, so we can store this under the elk. Uh, I did hear another elk up the hill again, or maybe that was a ram. I don't know why that guy's yelling over there, but you know, we're just gonna roll with it. Uh, see if we can find any tracks. Can't see any yet. So we're going to just keep keep on trucking. Are those wolves? Those sound like. Wo okay, and then we'll we'll finish it up by just picking up a turkey too. Um, Turkeys are really good because the flight feathers and also the carcasses are very easy to sell. And they're also very easy to carry. You can carry up to two on your horse depending on how much storage space you uh, purchase. I've been trying to look into it and see uh, how much or if it's possible to uh, buy a better saddle or, or more saddle space. Uh, let me know in the comments if you can because, again, I'm still fresh to the game. Um, but let's see. Where are we headed to? Don't want to go that way, so we're going to put a marker on the butcher. And uh, while we're here, I think we should talk about my experience. Um, so when I was nine... When I was eight years old, my brother had an Xbox 360, and he had Red Dead Redemption 1, which is why I was so, so pumped for the story mode and just this game in general. And um, we might get into some shit here with these these coyotes. Uh, it's only a two. That's a one. Ooh, those are some turtles. But, um, so I've been playing Red Dead since I was just about eight, nine years old. I used to play Legend of Zelda on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I have, uh, competed and taught communication skills. I've comp competed with communication skills, uh, as, uh, should I say, uh, and not only did I place second nationally in the Future Business Leaders of America Phi Beta Lambda competition in the nation, second in the nation, I'm telling you that now, second in the nation, I also taught at the National Youth Leadership Training Course uh, for three to four years. And, uh, you know, it's just, I I'm telling you now, before we get back to town and get back to the butchers, it's an absolute blast here at the Zablewski stream. My horse is about to kick me off, but it's all good. Um, 
some of the things you will see is just ranking up in Red Dead Redemption and such. And uh, my boy, Matt the Gym Rat Gaming, as I mentioned him before. And I have been preparing for a rigorous schedule of tournaments for duo solos quads squads whatever they're called in PUBG. so you're going to be able to see a lot of quality gameplay coming up and here we are at the butchers and uh let's sell elk antlers these used to be like 65 cents now they're a dollar 35 that's what i'm talking about mature venison meat that's I like bread. A, just about at the same price um, turkey feathers, I think those are the same price too. Uh, bighorn horn, I think that's about the same. Plump bird meat, I think that was 25 earlier. Duck feather, 30. Alright, here's where you start making the money. Again, this is probably the best place where you can go. Again, Lake Carnegie, and just toss in some worms at that exact spot that I showed you. I'll, I'll show you again after we, uh, after we switch to uh, switch to um, after we saw all this stuff, sorry, I just looked at my chat and saw that Matt the Gym Rat Gaming just donated a hundred bits. Thank you, Matt. Sorry, um, everyone watching on YouTube. Um, but yeah, so game meat sixty bucks or sixty cents. Flight feathers are fifteen. Uh, usually, you can stock up with like ten of those though, so that's a dollar fifty right there. Um, again, we are making so much more money, uh, 260 for a poor elk pelt. So think about it. It's probably 12 bucks for a, a perfect pelt. Uh, so make sure your shots are perfect. A dollar 10 for a ram hide, not too, not too shabby. And then a dollar 20 for the good turkey carcass. So in general, what I'm saying, I like to go to strawberry because again, here now we didn't see this earlier, but there are the... Uh, ram markers and coyote markers and, and rabbit markers. There's a duck marker that we saw before, but we didn't really move on that. And these are the places that you... Uh, Strawberry is just such a great place because it's literally like 200 meters from the butcher to this pond where you go... Let me mark it a little bit better. You're going to go right at the mouth of the creek where it comes into the lake and then on your way back, again, you can just hit boom, 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 and just rack up the cash. I'm telling you that now. But, um, yeah, and, I mean, even since the economy boost that they, they ran, um, you can just do the, the story mode missions, the stranger missions, and you'll still get, like, 13 bucks per mission and then 300 to 400, or I'd say 200 to 400 experience each time i'm telling you it's it's a much better move for the game and it's so much more playable it's so much more fun and uh i'd like to thank you for stopping in and watching this video um and you know what drop by a stream say what's up say hey i'm from youtube um otherwise i will see you in the next video it'll probably be a PUBG video but you know I, again, will see you guys soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.